Want to grout with different colors? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you the technique that I use when I want to achieve multiple color grouting. And I'm gonna show you that right now. When it comes to grouting in different grout colors on the same mosaic, this is the way that I tend to do it because I find I get good results with it. However, there are other ways of achieving the same result. So you've just got to look at which is the best way that's going to suit your needs. Keep an open mind about it because like I say with any of my videos, it's just to give you a guide. It's up to you to see which way you want to go that best suits your needs. So when I'm doing this, I need blue tack. Now blue tack, uh, for those in Australia, uh, it is at Woolworths at this very point in time, at the time of filming, and it was $1.25 for a 75 gram pack which is quite cheap, so I bought five of them. Now, there is Sally's uh, Easy Tack, but I find the Bostic Blue Tack is the best, and it's, from what I understand is, it's not sold at Bunnings. So uh, just keep an eye out for that if you're in Woolworths. And I also need masking tape. Uh, I, really, for me, any masking tape's fine. I just happen to have the blue stuff, so I'm using that. And also, a couple of bits of plastic, and these can be off plastic bags or anything. So anyway, Let's get into masking it all up. Okay, I'm going to be now, uh, like I said before, grouting this in the two colors. I'm going to get a little piece of blue tack. It doesn't have to be very big. And I'm going to put it into that grout line there. So the blue tack will help stop the grout from going in or under the masking tape when I lay it down uh, because it can depending on your mixture and how you mix it, because everyone mixes it differently, you know, consistency wise. So I'm just putting that in there to stop the grout from going under the masking tape, because that's going to be the next step. And I might as well use all that piece. And I don't need any more along here because this is a straight line in the tile. I, I didn't realize that when I made it. Now, the next thing we do is we get the masking tape and we lay it down. It, uh, doesn't necessarily have to be accurate right on that line, but I tend to go fairly close to it, probably about a mil back. Millimeter back for those that are in metric. I'm just gonna do that. I'm going to take that across here. Do that up there. Looks pretty good. We push that down. And then we get some plastic. And I, this is what I do. Uh, again, it's up to you how you want to do it. And I find I just mask that in like that. Now, the reason why I do this is because I want to keep the other tiles clean. Uh, and I know you can use masking tape across here. Uh, if you don't have any plastic, that's not an issue. But I find uh, whenever I'm doing multiple colors, I like to uh, use plastic to uh, cover the other tiles. Because that means if I happen to drop anything over here, I don't have to worry about getting it out. Uh, it's not gonna contaminate the other color. Now, which color you do first? Some people say they do the light color first. Some people say they do the black color first. But in my opinion, uh, I, I personally don't think it matters because if you're doing a painting and you put a dob of white on it or a light colour, you're going to see that dob. And of course, if you do a, a white painting and you put a dob of black on it, you're going to see that. So as far as contamination goes, I don't think it matters. But if you think it does, put a comment down in the uh, bottom of the YouTube channel and uh, I'll certainly have a look at it in the comment section. So now what we'll do is we will now grout this in the almond colour. All right, we're ready to go. I've mixed up far too much grout. I uh, put a bit much water in and then I had to add more grout. I've let it slake, so it's all ready to go. I'm just giving it a bit of a final mix. Now the fun part, we just add it on. And uh, I, I do like using my hands. I know some people don't. Actually, I know some people, a lot of people hate grouting, but I really enjoy it. And we're just going to push it in now to those grout lines. It's fun doing grouting. 
I think it scares a lot of people because they uh, may think that it might ruin their piece, as in because the consistency might be incorrect or it's the wrong colour. I'm not really sure, but I find grouting really fun. Just want to get all those grout lines full of grout. And I do like using almond because it's a nice grout without being uh, too stark in colour. Uh, you know, where white is stark, but then I have seen some really, really wonderful pieces where people have actually used white grout and uh, you know, a lot of people say, oh no, no, don't use white grout. But honestly, in the right circumstances, it's an amazing colour to use in some of the pieces. And uh, it surprises me where people become really uh, bold with using it and the piece looks amazing. So okay, that's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to take off the excess now. Just put it back in the cup. I've mixed enough grout for two of these I think. So now what happens is uh, we'll let that set a little until it hazes over and then I'll come in and clean that up and then we let it set longer and then I come in and remove the tape and I don't apply or I generally don't apply uh, and sorry I generally don't mask up again or apply another colour until the next day. But that's just me. Like I said, everyone does things differently. So okay, so we'll let that now haze over and we'll be back shortly. So much grout. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. Oh, before I uh, go further, don't throw out your old grout because you might take some of the grout out of the grout lines when you're, um, when you're cleaning it up. So I just put a plastic bag over it and well, that, that uh, masking tape just fits over it perfectly to hold it down. Uh, that's just to fill up any little bits that I might accidentally knock out. Now, some people like to grout with the dry grouting method. Uh, some people like to use the wet method, which, which is a wet rag. I like to use both. Uh, you know, I don't sort of get there and say, well, I just use the wet method. I, I actually do use both depending on the piece and the state of the grout. But in this particular instance, I'm going to use the wet method to clean this up. And then I'll also use the dry method as well. So we're just taking off the excess grout. And we're going to do it in motions so as we don't go with the grout lines because we don't want to be pulling the grout out. There's where that join is. I'm just going to remove some of that. Grouting really does bring it together. There's no two ways about it. Give an excess there, take that off. Now we can go in with a dry rag and we can just clean that up a little bit more. Grouting's messy, but you know, that's just the way it is. Okay, and then what I can do is I can come back later and clean that right up. Now what you can do in this point in time is you can actually take off the masking tape and that uh, because you won't actually be uh, like uh, grouting any further now that we haven't uh, taken out any, uh, you know, accidentally removed any grout. So we can actually take that tape off now. And when you take it off is entirely up to you, but I, I don't want to do it when it's really uh, hard. I want to, uh, when the grout is really hard, I really want to do it when it's not going to just flop everywhere either. So what we'll do is we'll just now take that off the excess plastic, 
we'll keep that because we'll need that for the um, black one. There you go. Beautiful. And it removes the blue tack as well. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So then I go in again with the dry rag this time and I'm not actually going to get there and really use any more water or anything like that because this I can clean up as it dries a bit more. Get in there and just move some of that back off that straight line. Okay, and if we want, we can just clean up that bit there and that bit there. Like that. And then what I'll do is I'll let that set a bit longer and then I'll come in and do a, just to tidy up and then I can then mask it and do the other side as well, which I'll show you how to do that. But as you can see, the line is quite defined. I hope you can see it. The line is quite defined and uh, there's, no, there's no seepage of grout going in underneath there at all. It's quite a harsh or quite a hard line. I've cleaned this up. This took all of about 60 seconds because there wasn't really much mess on it. And we don't need the blue tack anymore. We just need the masking tape. So I'm going to now get the masking tape to go over that white grout area there a little bit, just a little bit. And I have to be careful here because we want this bit here to be black. So I'll just go over that line slightly. But if I have to use two pieces of tape to uh, create that, well then that's fine, I, I can do that. That's not a problem. You know, if you find that the pieces don't align up, uh, because bear in mind, that I've used uh, straight lines on this. Uh, and so it's gonna depend how your mosaic is constructed. You might need to use a few different pieces of masking tape to cover up that previous grouted area. And then here, I'll just put this over here. Push that down like that. And then we'll get our plastic that I cleaned up before. And we'll tape that down. And uh, I found out that there's silicon cups that you can actually mix grout in, which is really good because that makes them reusable rather than using plastic cups, which you have to throw out. So I might have to look at getting a couple of those, which is really good. Okay. So we'll come back uh, very shortly. Uh, I'll go mix the grout and uh, then we'll grout the final side. Okay, I've mixed all the grout and it's ready to go. It's been slaking, so I'll just give that another stir. Okay, we'll just plop this on. Now let that haze over and then we'll um, we'll come back and clean that all up. And now I'm going to use a damp rag to actually clean off that haze and that excess grout. And I'm going to do what I did before. After I've done that, I'm going to use a dry rag to uh, go over it.
take this off now. There you go, there's your line. Just take that away from there. Now I'm going to let this now cure further because if I were to go over this area here where there's a bit of black on those tiles, it may come into the white air or into the almond grout line. So I'm going to now leave this sit. I don't want to play around with anything that's near that edge or that edge. And then we'll come back and then we'll have a look at this when it's fully cured. And uh, we can just go over the, with the rag and clean that little bit up there and that'll come up really quite good. But that's basically how you grout two colors in the same mosaic. And as you can see, there's a fine line there and a fine line there where, and that's why I chose the circle. I want to cut out a circle because I want you to actually be able to see the fine line that it gives you when you use the tape uh, and also the blue tack. But anyway, we'll come back to this and have a look after it's final clean. Well, there you go, it's all finished and it's all nicely cleaned. And our grout lines are very well defined. Uh, the black there doesn't go into the almond grout and the almond doesn't go into the black, so it's a nice defined line there and there as well. Uh, so that's how I do two colored grout, uh, two different colored grouts in the same mosaic. And of course you can do a lot more multiple colors uh, doing the same way, but that's just how I do it. If you have any comments, put them down in the bottom of the comment section on the YouTube channel. I'll be interested in having a look. You may have a better way or an easy way of doing uh, multiple uh, grout colors in a single mosaic. Uh, and I'll be interested in having a look and I'm sure others will too. So if you have any comments, put them down in that and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy.